Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we have a big boy here. This is an iPhone 6 Plus in silver. It's kind of a rare color. I never had an iPhone 6 series in silver. And it does look good, I have to say. And wipe the fingerprints away. There you go, much better. And judging with this lock screen wallpaper, it is running iOS 12.5.5 right there. So what we're gonna do today with this silver boring iOS 12.5.5 iPhone 6 Plus. Well, here we have another 6 Plus. It's a gold 6 Plus. I mean, compared to the silver, I prefer the, the silver, of course, because the gold are just eh, too much gold. Clean this up as well because there's a lot of fingerprints. And judging by the last screen wallpaper, yes, and slats unlock, this iPhone is running iOS 8. And to be exact, 8.1.3 yes this iphone 6 plus is running ios 8.1.3 the original operating system for the 6 plus and you guessed it in this video we're gonna do a speed test of ios 8 the first version of ios that's on the iphone 6 and the 6 plus to the latest version of ios that this iphone is compatible which is ios 12.5.5 so Without any further ado, let's go to the speed test. Um, the reason why I'm just making this video right now, I could do this a couple of uh, months ago or years ago, is because Apple is actually still updates iOS 12 uh, before, I think, I think, how long is that? I forgot, let me put it in this, in this area right here. Uh, so Apple is still updating iOS 12 to 12.4.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and they, they come up with 12.5, the one that I made the speed test video with the iPhone 5S, and they still update it five more times till 12.5.5. So I'm pretty sure this is the last version of iOS 12 on this iPhone 6 and other uh, A7 and A8 devices, except the iPad Air 2 and Mini, and Mini 4, of course. They still update, but I think this is the last iOS 12 update for it. So yeah, I wanted to do the speed test with the fixed version, with the last version for the iOS 12 one. So that's why I'm doing it right now. All right, so we're gonna divide this video into two pieces. So bloop bloop, because I don't have the hand-eye coordination of handling two devices at the same time. So on the left here, we got the 6 Plus on 8.1.3. And on the right, we got the 6 Plus on 12.5.5. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Let's start these two devices up at the same time here in three, two, one.
Okay, now we're gonna do our usual Geekbench test, but first, quick Touch ID test here, iOS 12, iOS 8, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we got the press to open, so let's uh, make that more fair and square here, 3, 2, 1. Okay, they're kinda, they're kinda the same, you know, they're kinda the same, I have to, oh yeah, hold on. I forgot there's this setting, so we're gonna turn this on. Okay, in 3, 2, 1. What? I thought we already enabled the settings, hold on, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, they're kind of still the same, you know, if I try this, I enabled this, but it's still, this, it's still this stuff to press home to open for some reason, but all right. So let's clear all the apps here, we still got some on the speed test. And look at that, the old iOS 8, we can use three fingers to dismiss it, I'll just do that again here, three fingers. Okay, now we're gonna use Geekbench 3 because Geekbench 4, especially Geekbench 5, is not compatible with iOS 8. So we're gonna use Geekbench 3. If I can find it, where is this? And here it is. Okay, I just moved the phones a little closer here as you can see. 8.1.3, 12.5.5. Make sure there's no running apps at the background here. There's none. Alright, let's start the Geekbench test in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so iOS 8 finished first with 16, 28, 29, to end 29, 18 multi-core score. And ooh, a little bit same as same move here. Of course, we're running Geekbench 3, not Geekbench 4. As you can see, the score is a little different. But I don't think it will have much more impact because again, this is Geekbench 3, not Geekbench 4 and Geekbench 5. So we can't really tell like the true, the true meaning with this course because we are running an older version of Geekbench. If we're running Geekbench 4 on these two phones, maybe we can't tell the difference. And here is the Geekbench 4 scores if you guys wanna know. I mean, like I said, yo, comparing it to Geekbench 3, their computational testing and everything is completely different with these two versions, especially with the 5. So don't really take it for granted with these scores. I mean, you guys can judge by the speed test which one is better, iOS 8 or iOS 12. And that's enough for the speed test of iOS 8 and iOS 12 on the 6 Plus. And by the way, I will show you guys two features that you guys probably forgot because they removed this since iOS 15, I don't know, I think it's iOS 14 because all the widget on the home screens and all that thing. And that is home screen rotation. Yes, you cannot do home screen rotation anymore on the plus iPhone, so on the 6S plus, 7 plus, 8 plus, running the latest iOS 15, you cannot rotate the home screen anymore because of those widgets. So you can see here, iOS 8 and iOS 12 is still doable if I don't lock the rotation here, like so. There you go. You still can rotate the home screen on until I think iOS 13 we still can you know, because the widget of course in iOS 15 and also one thing that's removed here I don't know since what version of iOS let me uh, help me out in the comments here and uh, that is the keyboard so here I have iOS 12 and if, I, and if I show you guys the keyboard on landscape you see that you know it's just the basic the same keyboard when you rotate it and not rotate it it's just more spaced out and we got this ghost touching keyboard on the sides here look at it I'm not touching the word and it's still thinking I'm touching the word. <laughs> I don't know if this is a back corner, look at that, on the backspace, on the shift key, on the emoji. Oh, the emoji too, look at that. The emoji took the whole space, but like, it's empty, it's empty, all right? Well, meanwhile, um, I, they still have this on iOS 10, all right? Uh, my mom still have an iOS, an iPhone 7, that is the iPhone 7 Plus, my bad, that is still on iOS 10, yep. So if I go here, you can see the keyboard, it's bugged out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Look at all those buttons, guys. You can have much buttons here. Let's see here. Test one. And I can use these arrows to go, you know, find a perfect cursor. I mean, yes, you can do this now. When I was, since I was 12, I think, you know, do you, it's bugging out. You can just move the cursor on the space bar here to go to any uh, word that you like there, it's kind of bugging, I don't know why. But on here, you can use these arrows to do that manually. You can have a quick shortcut punctuation marks here. And look at that, cut, copy and paste, bold text, and all these things. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is uh, paste. That's how the emoji look like. You guys remember how these emoji look like? And especially these keyboards, look at the, the differences, man. Apple, they remove a lot of things. They in fact advertise with this lot of buttons here, 
on a keyboard when they introduced the 6 plus but then they removed it now they removed it look at this they removed it man you know apple give you know why do you remove this apple i mean i don't know man it, i mean it's kind of cramped and all that but it's still it's still much better than this empty space right here man i mean apple apple come on man also never forget So yeah guys, that's enough for the video of the speed test between iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.3 and 12.5.5. Let me know in the comments down below of what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.